Welcome back to Dr. Duncan Network. Network. This is Dr. Duncan with Dr. Duncan Shaw. We're going to continue with our series about cervical, thoracics, and lumbar, uh, calves, abnormal and, um, um, abnormal and normal. And at this point, I want to make sure that uh, we're going to focus on the abnormal cervical curve. As I said, actually, this is so important because a lot of people have, no, have a lot of problems sleeping at night because of the problem of the neck. A lot of people complain of numbness at night or tingling in the hands and uh, they are very, 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 very unhappy about it. Some people think they might even have a heart attack actually. I had a young lady come to the office the other day and she had numbness in the hands and, uh, and, uh, and they were, she was wondering whether she had a heart attack. Thank God she didn't have a heart attack, but she had some issues in the neck that caused the numbness and tingling in the hands. And the, one of the reasons we see this and the reason why I'm putting this together is because I want to give you answers for your problems so that you can know how to solve them. The best way to know those answers is number one, to find the cause of the problem. And how do you find the cause of the problem? Number one thing we all know is we're going to shoot the x-rays. That way we can see exactly where the problem is. And as I have shared with you the normal car. I want to share you how abnormal calf of the neck can really be a problem for people every day, everyday life. And so we have here on our screen, we have a calf here that is looking abnormal. And what I mean by abnormal is you can see the curve of the neck here instead of going backwards like we have seen in the last series. This curve is actually going forward is going forward. When that happens, when the curve goes forward, what happens is actually the joints lock. And when the joints lock, what happens is arthritis starts to form. This is very, very important. Look at where this curve tends to bend. It's right at that vertebra. And when you look at that vertebra right in there, you can see actually the arthritis has totally formed and these are what you call the bone spars. You can see the bone spars are formed and the re major reason is because the, the curve has totally reversed. When we see this, we always tell people this, that their problem has not just happened. It has been going on for years. And the only way to do is we have to make sure we can rehab this system. Otherwise, if this is not fixed, what's going to happen is actually this arthritis is going to join and it's going to become born to born. And you hear people say, well, the doctor said my spine is showing born to born. And you can see that. And so when they say it's born to born, this is the thing that I'm coming to you for this show. There is a reason why it's born to born. And as you can see right in there, this has become born on born because the curve is totally changed, which has caused arthritis to form. And you can see that is arthritis. But the question is this. If you are able to keep a very regular chiropractic care and very regular way of maintaining your spine it's kind of like going to see a dentist every three or two months every three or four months or twice a year it is so important for you to have what you call spinal check in my office what we describe as spinal check is not some gimmick that you just check you know you look and no we do x-rays and we sit down with every patient so they can see where their pain is coming from. And when they know where their pain is coming from, we come up with a plan of how to fix. The question is there, if somebody presents to my office with a curve like this, what are we going to do with that? Very important. We're going to find out whether there are other company issues like misalignment. And what do I mean by misalignment? It means that a bone is out of place. Instead of this bone be where it's supposed to be, the joint has shifted. So instead of being there, it has shifted. So the bone is out of place. So we're going to find out whether the bone is in place. If the bone is out of place, then we adjust it and put it in place. After we adjust it and put it in place, 
Then we start what we call rehab. I hear some people say, well, when you go to see a chiropractor, are you going to see him the rest of your life? I have answers for you. It all depends on what on earth is going on. It doesn't have to be every day, but I would say like if a patient presents with this condition, they might not get better faster than uh, somebody with just a muscle or uh, a strain in the neck or something like that. That is something that will be easy to fix. But when you have a situation where the curve is reversed like this, it takes time, we have to rehab. And the reason I'm saying that is so important because we have to make sure that these muscles here, these muscles here, we work on them so that they can relax because the muscles have already been totally under a lot of stress because the curve is shifted. And then after that, we also work on the ligaments that attach the muscles together and kind of put the muscles together. We have to work on those. And then later we have also to make sure we rehab the skeleton itself. We can, in this particular case, we are talking about the vertebra. And so it's a process because I get to hear people tell me, well, uh, tell me, you know, I have this pain, I've taken Vicodin, I've taken everything, you can name it out there, but the pain is not going, it doesn't help at all, I just continue with the pain. But I tell them when we come, when they come to our office, we're going to find out, are there issues like a curve that is shifted or changed? And if there's anything like that, then we start helping them. And then we are able to help people from getting involved and getting addicted to a medication. That has a lot of consequences. According to a lot of reports that we have read from NBC News, they have said the number one reason why actually there are organ failures. When I'm talking about organ failure, I'm not talking about the kidneys, I'm talking about the liver, is because of pain medications. And so that is why it's so important that we all as doctors and physicians work as a team so that we don't drag people to death but we can work as a team if you need medicine then you need it but we work as a team to make sure we get your other medication the best we can the fastest we can and that's why i'm making this series for you to get educated so that you can know there are options out there and those options are very very essential for the betterment of your health. And if you still want to know where we are located, we are located on 23120 College Highway, and this is in Oak Park, nine, north of nine miles on College. You can't miss us, we're on the east side of the street. We, we are there all the time, we'll be happy to get you and fix you and get you running like a new man, and you become a new, new person. Otherwise, the next segment, we're going to actually focus on the lower back. And this is something everybody has to see. The reason I'm saying this is because I got to see a lot of patients with lower back problems. And actually it's so funny because those patients with all these conditions, a lot of them we have been able to help them and we are helping them with all their issues. But it is so important to be able to understand what we're going to show you today because it's going to change your life. And if you know your relative who is in trouble out there, needing pain, you know, pain, relief from pain, I would like you to make sure you tell them to call me at 248-398-1650. And this is your host, Dr. Duncan, with Dr. Duncan Television Network. Thank you.